here. Sunshine at Ellen Road is Gordon Strachan and Colin Calderwood. Strachan on the left in the white. The two captains toss up for a game that could swap these two teams round in their positions in Division 2. Swindon start the day in 18th place, but so tight are things in the second division at this early stage of the season, they would actually leapfrog over Leeds, who start in ninth position if they win here this afternoon. Gordon Strachan just discussing with the afternoon's referee, George Courtney from Spennymore in County Durham, posing for the photographer. As Gordon Strachan peels away to join his Leeds United teammates. Bobby Davison there you see wearing number 10. He plays this afternoon despite running into an advertising hoarding at Oldham on Tuesday night. He needed four stitches in an eye wound. He also bruises ribs and people thought that he could be out of action for a month. He's not, he's here. He had a fitness test this morning and he said that he was fit and how Wilkinson, the manager, said, if you're happy, I'm happy. So there he is just explaining to David Batty that he's absolutely fit. Leeds, of course, still without Chris Fairclough joining the injured list, joining the increasingly long injured list. So Noel Blake and Peter Haddock will be the centre-back partnership in a Leeds United lineup that reads Day, Sterling, Whitlow, Jones, Blake, Haddock, Strachan, Batty, Baird, Davison, Hendry, and the two substitutes, Carl Shutt and Andy Williams, who indeed was Howard Wilkinson's first buy from Rotherham United, £170,000 just over a year ago, just under a year ago, in fact. George Courtney just making absolutely sure that it's three o'clock on all the official watches before we get underway, because his watch is the one that matters. By my watch, we should be underway any second now. It'll be very hot work down there as the afternoon gets on. Warm afternoon, not much breeze. A day really more akin to playing cricket, but it's football we're playing and we're underway with Leeds playing from left to right. Away by Gittins, Tom Jones. Leeds United wanting the first kick of the afternoon. Goes in fact to Swindon Town with Paul Bowden. He's going to leave it. Following Calderwood, the captain takes most of the free kicks from the back and he takes this one now. Only two up for Swindon. That was Blake who won the first header for Leeds. Phil King. A challenge coming in from Davison. And the first touch for Fraser Digby in the Swindon Town goal. 22 years of age, Fraser Digby. McLaughlin losing out. And Mervyn Day also gets an early feel of the ball. Hendry losing out to King, but King are judged by the referee to have come in unfairly on John Hendry. Mel Sterling with the free kick for Leeds United. Three in the penalty area for Leeds. Sterling gets the better angle on the cross. Good effort coming in from Ian Baird. And the early threat certainly is coming from Leeds United. Crowd will enjoy that. Haddock won the header. Turned on by Batty. Calderwood is there before Davison. Phil King. Neatly done. Got away from the challenge of Hendry. They're trying to be just that little bit too intricate early in the game, Swindon. Now Sterling's throw for Batty. Sterling again. Just a yard too high for Baird. Duncan Shearer, once of Huddersfield Town, of course. And Sterling taking the safety. Mike Whitlow, sporting a Vinnie Jones hairstyle this season. As are, of course, so many on the terraces. 
Gordon Strachan. Davison was waiting, but Calderwood was calm. Hockaday getting his fellow defenders into trouble. That's Gittins challenging with Strachan. And Strachan upended. Leeds want the free kick. And Mr Courtney obliges. And he'll just have a little word with John Gittins just to say, make it absolutely clear that he's not going to tolerate that kind of challenge. One of the game's most respected officials, George Courtney. Strachan with the free kick. Bodin isn't ten yards away. It worries needs leads not. The touch away is from McLaren and Leeds have another corner. It'll be Strachan again, who scored Leeds' only goal in the 2-1 defeat at Oldham and Littlewoods Cup on Tuesday. Away by King. It's Calderwood. Vinnie Jones heading it back in. Bit of head tennis, Gordon Strachan with Hockaday. Hockaday helped out by King. Doesn't need him in the end. This is King. Gittins away. Batting. Hendry if he wants him, he does. Early ball. Well, that was wasted. Applause from the crowd, but really, John Henry will know, and certainly his manager will know, that was an opportunity gone begging for Leeds. Just over five minutes on the watch. Still no goals. And Fraser Digby's seen plenty of the ball, but hasn't really been tested. Blake won the header, fairly, says the referee. Too long for Baird. Header was won by Haddock. King was in before Hendry. This is Batty. Did well. Sterling's long ball. Davison chasing with Gittins. Hendry. And the goalkeeper was put in under pressure by Calderwood. Should have been a goalkeeper's ball. And Leeds will have their third corner in the first six minutes. Gordon Strachan will take, as he has the previous two. Away by Gittins. Challenge from Simpson. Hendry. Away by King. Further away by Gittins. Strachan with Bowden. And Bowden doing well. Swindon determined to play it out of trouble. It's a dangerous game. McLaren. Batty's ball forward for Davison. Crowd wanted a handball. The referee saying it hit the chest. Neat turn by Jones. Looking for Bowden. Challenges from Haddock. Simpson. 19 years of age, Fitzroy Simpson. McLaren, poor ball, gave it away. Batty. Back by Baird. And the two teams really just sizing each other up. Testing each other out. McLaren. Gittins back to Digby. Getting good length on some of these kicks, Fraser Digby, but no threat at all to Leeds United. And the offside flag was raised anyway. Mervyn Day, as he likes to do, taking these free kicks anywhere within 10, 15 yards or even further of his own penalty area. Eight minutes gone, still no goals. Bowden for Swindon Town. McLaughlin. Lost out though. And Haddock takes the safe option. Mervyn Day. 34 years of age and showing 
considerable spirit of adventure in his old age. You'll forgive me for saying that. Didn't get Leeds anywhere that time. This game finished nil-nil here last season and so did the match down at Swindon Town. Whistle's gone. Foot up by Shearer. And Sterling, I think, will set the ball rolling again. Haddock. Neat dummy from Peter Haddock. Too far for Bobby Davison. And Hockaday will take the throw for Swindon Town. Coming up to the 10 minute mark. Noel Blake's been very commanding so far in the air for Leeds United. Whitlow with the throw. One by Gittins. Leeds gain 10 yards. And Vinnie Jones this time says. I'll try my luck. He won part of his reputation at Wimbledon with long throw-ins. Won't enhance his reputation at Leeds much with that one. Blake again winning the header. Strachan back for Wicklow. Good touch by Bear, looking for Davison. Alderwood was there, calmly. Davison, I think, just wondering whether it might have been an unfair challenge. The referee said no. In fact, the offside flag was raised anyway. Calderwood, experienced. Still only 24. Blake winning out again, not quite timing the header though. Bowden on the far side for Swindon. McLaughlin scored two goals in midweek at Shrewsbury. McLaren offside against Jones. The referee says play on, but the flag was up. Well won by Gittins. It's getting just a little bit scrappy. McLaren. And Whitlow will tidy up. And you just wonder whether the game might have a bit more pattern if the goalkeepers were to throw the ball out to a defender rather than going for the long kick every time. Even if the kick is from halfway inside the half. Really no pattern to the game at all at the moment. Swindon won no friends here last season with a goalless draw, but in fact, only Chelsea scored more away goals last season in Division 2 than Swindon Town. Blake again, commanding figure. Too high for Baird though. McLaren. And a chance possibly for Shearer. Day needed to be out that time. Gordon Strachan just lost control of it. And Swindon will have the throw. Hockaday. Nobody really running for him. Now Jones is. This is Jones. Shearer. And across the face, and they were exposed, were Leeds. Still in play. Simpson. Away by Blake. Gittins looking for McLaughlin. The control wasn't there, but Leeds really were exposed at the back there. And Mervyn Day, out of your picture, not at all happy with his defence. And well, he might not be. 
Penny Jones coming back to get some length on the throw. Just over 13 minutes gone. Foot high, was it? Referee gives the free kick. Hawker day to take. And offside against Shearer. Mervyn Day venturing further and further upfield. To Strachan. Good cross away by Gittins. Hung awkwardly that. Hendry. Trying again with Simpson. And the referee has given a penalty kick. Swindon don't like it. And you can see they might have a point. Henry takes the congratulations. The first challenge was from King. The second one from Simpson. It was the one from Simpson that was penalised. Well, some you win, some you don't. The result is, it's no use Swindon arguing. I know better than to argue with George Courtney. The result will be that Gordon Strachan has the chance to score his second goal in two games. He has. He went the right way with Crazy Digby. Might have just got a hand to it. It's a fine effort. He to play with Gordon Strachan, of course, at Manchester United many years ago. But Gordon Strachan has his second goal in four days, and it's Leeds United 1, Swindon 0. Bad for 32 year old. Really, the game needed that. Leeds had had the early pressure, but it never really threatened. And now, with 15 minutes gone, suddenly the afternoon looks as bright as the weather. Away by Blake. McLaren. Nothing ball, really, asking a lot of McLaughlin. McLaughlin does well. And then Whitlow brought it away for Vinnie Jones. Jones has Batty if he wants him. He does. Hendry's out on this side. And Batty, that would have been the easy option. I was a little bit lucky to be brought down by Tommy Jones from behind because he rather got caught in possession and not for the first time this afternoon. Young man, David Batty. England under 21 international, of course. And Mervyn Day edging further and further towards the Swindon half. And you just wonder whether they might pay for this one day. Still, Mervyn Day, most experienced footballer on the field. 34 years of age. Aim for Baird, who won it. Davison, good effort. And clutched by Digby and the challenge from Hendry. King wanted the early throw, didn't get it. Digby still sticking to the long kicks, and they are long kicks. Cut out by Blake. Whitlow with the header, didn't win it. This is McLaren. Good run by Hockaday. Cut out by Strachan, and Swindon will have the free kick with Ross McLaren. Simpson was out of play. Spotted by the linesman. Al Sterling with the throw. The crowd chant 1-0. The question now, of course, can Leeds get the second goal? Because they've scored one goal in each of the last five, but they haven't managed a second. Will this afternoon be any different? Just out of your picture, just something being removed from the pitch on the far side of the field before Sterling takes the throw. Cut out by King, and Sterling's gained 15, 20 yards. King slightly out of position now as Baird is challenged by Calderwood as Hendry. King's now back. Hendry's cross. Strachan. Did well to climb, Gordon Strachan. Little man, but no power. Hockaday chasing back. Goalkeepers available. 
gives it instead to his captain. And Fraser Digby gets it anyway. Long, long kick testing Blake. And Blake was equal to it. Popular figure at Ellen Road, Noel Blake. Cut out by Whitlow. Hockaday will try again. McLaughlin's the only one really making a run for him. He's aimed for Jones. Very tight down there. And Jones turned well and then lost it. Well kick given. Leeds have actually never lost to Swindon in the league. Six meetings between the two. And both games last year finishing scoreless. Davison, neat little ball for Strachan. Put out by Hockaday. Strachan wants the throw, so does Hockaday. The referee sides with Leeds. David Batty will take the throw with Vinnie Jones, the other man who reckons to be a long throw specialist in the Leeds team. Let's see. Good effort on the turn by Davison. Henry was in there sniffing. And goal kick is the result. Blake missed it this time. And the referee says his challenge was an unfair one anyway. McLaren with the free kick for Swindon. Leave it for Calderwood. Benny Jones found some space on the left. Baird making the run for him. This is Baird. Challenged by Hockaday. Good effort. Let the try bobbled awkwardly. In front of Fraser Digby, but the body was behind it. But a good effort from Ian Baird. Whitlow won the header in front of Jones. And lead still a goal to the good. Halfway through the half. Sterling, a little bit lucky. Not quite the direction he meant. Safe enough. And Whitlow will invite Mervyn Day. Now, will he go on his travels again? Yes, he does. Certainly enjoying himself, Mervyn Day, in the twilight of his career. And that's what I meant by the dangers. You wonder if they might pay for it one day. Still, I'll get away with it again. Batty leaves the throw to Sterling. Challenge from Davison, who's run hard across from one wing to the other. Bobby Davison, without any great success so far this afternoon. But leads a goal to the good, so he'll be happy enough. John Hendry inside for Batty and Strachan. Whitlow's cross. Headed by Strachan. Tommy Jones for Swindon. Sterling for Leeds. Hendry. Chance to run at him and again. Second time this afternoon that John Hendry's really wasted it. And Baird. And Davison on the far post, there, waiting hungrily. One by Blake again. Davison chasing. 
back by Hockaday to Digby. You just wonder whether Leeds might be in for another frustrating afternoon if Swindon might sneak one on the break. They might regret some of these crosses that are not finding the waiting heads. Long kick from Digby again. This time Shearer wins it. Away by Sterling. Not very calmly. Here's Baird. Whitlow. Challenged by Bowden. Looking for Stratton and finding him. Hockaday is with him. Finney Jones has made it into the box. Here's Baird. And really should have done better in space on the far post. Wasn't challenged. Leads good value for their lead, but uh, not everything's been right so far, and Howard Wilkinson, I'm sure, will be the first to remind them of that if things stay much the same at half-time. Long ball from Sterling, looking for Baird. Run by Calderwood, who's been pretty solid this afternoon so far, the Swindon captain. Play forward by King, looking for Simpson. Away by Sterling. This is Hendry. Batty would like it short. Davison. Batty nearly got a second bite. King for Shearer. Offside. Calderwood's free kick. Blake again above Shearer. Jones looking for Davison. Calderwood with a header away. Batty for Hendry. First time ball for Baird. Gittens was firm enough though. And King and Digby. Former England under 21 international, Fraser Digby. Whitlow with the throw. Leaves it for Vinnie Jones. And in bed. We just got a knock in in the face somewhere. Might just be a job for the dentist on Monday morning. But he's all right. And it'll be Fiddy Jones with the throw. Strachan judged it better. But Gittins was there. For Swindon. McLaughlin's header, Whitlow, just in time. Challenge was from Shearer. Flick on from Jones, Hendry, Calderwood. Henry challenging again, comes with Batty, came off Henry. Jones who stretched out the leg, Davison, Batty. Henry on this touchline, this is Blake. Away from Simpson, Sterling with the throw. 
Henry wants it on the chest. Gets it to his feet. Sterling was it handball, the referee says no. Hit the knee, I think. Shearer. Neatly laid off. To Jones, Shearer. Tom Jones. And they really haven't threatened at all, Swindon, certainly since the moment when Gordon Strachan on the 14th minute put Leeds in front from the penalty spot. 28 minutes gone. Leeds a goal to the good. Calderwood beaten by Baird, Batty, Hendry. Davison near the penalty spot. Strachan beyond him and Baird beyond him. King with the foul. And Leeds have looked quite dangerous from these set pieces. The Swindon defenders not particularly big. Whitlow looking to perhaps just curl it in a little bit. And it wasn't very far away from Biddy Jones at the near post. Neatly worked move that from Leeds. Simpson lacking the control. Sterling was there challenging. Support from Jones. King's ball. Finding Shearer. And Sterling puts an end to all the nonsense. Simpson with the throw. McLaren. McLaren again. Challenge from Batty. Rather ineffectual. Useful ball. And away by Haddock. By Whitlow, rather. Phil King with a throw. Simpson with a close support. Guarded by Hendry. Hendry got the touch, I think. And if Swindon could just get one or two more men into the penalty area, Leeds haven't looked all that solid. This, though, the first Swindon corner. Tommy Jones to take. Bowden is the man in close support. That was Bowden who went up. So did Calderwood. Away by Batty. McLaren. Good effort. Struck it well. And Mervyn Day just pointing out how they should have dealt with it. Noel Blake. Baird beaten by Kittens. Shearer losing out to Haddock. That was McLaren. Gordon Strachan. Still Strachan. Bassey left it for him. Whitlow. Jones. Batty with Strachan further up that left wing. Davison. Challenge from Gittins. And neatly done for Harkaday. Bowden. Harkaday. Shearer is onside. He's got Jones with him. And on the far post, Simpson, this is Jones, away by Blake. And Swindon just in the last four or five minutes, showing signs of waking up. There's McLaren. Calderwood. King. Leeds. Working hard and closing down the options. Sterling with Simpson. 
comes for Shearer. Away by Haddock. Baird with Calderwood. Referee says that was a fair challenge by Calderwood. Not all the Leeds fans agree. Sterland, Batty. Davison beaten by Calderwood. King finding Simpson. Sterland and finally Blake. Chance for Henry to challenge with Calderwood. Henry's quicker. Still challenging for it. The run for Davison. Play on, says the referee. Still Davison. And the corner of Calderwood. We've had a fair feast of corners, Leeds. Three in the first six minutes and several since. Strachan to take. Away by Bowden. Batty. Haddock for Strachan again. Neatly done. And the important challenge was from Calderwood. Simpson. Jones shepherded away from it by Haddock. Away by Blake. Sterland. Baird losing out, but Henry was there. Just caught Davison on the wrong foot. Very much a roving commission this afternoon. Paul Bowden popped him at both ends of the field. Control was poor from Haddock, again not for the first time. Whitlow, looking for Davison, shepherded by Calderwood. A leads ball with Strachan. Saw the option well with Batty. Davison is onside. Good effort. Didn't miss by very much from Bobby Davison. And that's not bad for a man who was looking at possibly a month's layoff with those four stitches and a rib wound from Tuesday night. Bobby Davison. Just explaining to Ian Baird why he didn't quite hit the target. Good flick on from Shearer. Shearer again. And perhaps a little more time than that. Finds Simpson anyway. But Sterling was there. Baird with Calderwood. Baird won it. For Hendry. Sterling. Positive ball for Davison. Turned well. Play on to the referee. Good decision. Sterling. King with him. Still Sterling, done well. Useful ball for Baird at the far post. Bigby was calm. Hockaday. And Digby. Mel Sterling enjoying his football. £650,000 from Glasgow Rangers. The header was well won, causing Blake trouble on by McLaughlin. Davison with no support. John Gittins. Bowden. Control let him down. Haddock beat McLaughlin. King finds Simpson. Challenge from Sterling. The referee says it was fair. Swindon weren't sure about it. Sterling again. Whitlow. Strachan making a run. Baird going to the left touchline. Strachan in field. This is Baird. Back for Haddock. Strachan. Tommy Jones for Swindon looking for Simpson who's not really made any progress at all against Mel Sterling Phil King with the throw Shearer beaten by Blake 
and King beaten by Davison. Davison just calling Ian Baird back to support. Shearer's flick for McLaughlin. Got Bowden with him. And Strachan did well as Hockaday came in. Never stops working Gordon Strachan. Oldest player in the Leeds team after Mervyn Day. 32. Hockaday with the throw for Bowden. Good flick. Jones. Away. This is Hockaday. Support from McLaren. Besides, he doesn't need it. Six up for Swindon. Played forward by King. This is King again. Good challenge by Hendry. And space for Davison. Two against three. And three against five as Sterling joins the attack. Strachan's making the extra man at the far post. But he wasn't quite there in time and nor was Davison. Jones' free kick. Simpson in space. And Leeds were asleep there. The corner off Blake. And Simpson there as Jones' cross came across was on his own just for a moment. And really might have done better from there. Number 11, Fitzroy Simpson. It'll be bowed in with the corner. Just over five minutes to half time. McLaren. Bowden. And an offside flag against Shearer for Swindon. And here comes Strachan. Whitlow's made a good run down the left. This is he. Confidence from Mike Whitlow. Batty. Whitlow's kept going. Not quite far enough. And now Leeds might just be caught, but there was Blake. Been pretty solid this afternoon, Noel Blake. Offside flag again. I think possibly against Simpson on this side or Shearer in the middle. Leeds aren't sure either. It was Shearer. And Haddock will take the free kick. Baird, Hendry, a good effort hit the bar, Strachan, it's there, 2-0 leads, and that's the second goal they've been waiting for six matches for, it's Gordon Strachan's third goal in four days, five games leads have gone, scoring once each time and finally that second goal has come. With three and a half minutes from half time, it's Leeds United 2, Swindon 0. There's no doubt about it, Leeds have found a new hero. Offside. Mervyn Day, his confidence restored by that goal, is off on his travels again. Baird, set up by Hockaday's slip. Mike Whitlow. The ball hit the elbow, I think, of Hockaday, but the referee are judging it to be accidental. And Swindon will profit. Simpson in some space on this side. Henry had seen it. McLaren and Jones it was who won the header for King Shearer with Haddock and the ball ran perhaps a little kindly for Peter Haddock but Mervyn Day was there
Well, they've certainly found their voices. Good crowd at Ellen Road this afternoon. And they're enjoying it. Dave Hockaday. Nobody moving for him. Now Bodin is further up that touchline. As he's looking for Bodin. Back for Gittins. Shearer beaten by Blake. Been a tower of strength in old Blake. And Hendry scores problems too. Worth a try on the left foot. McLaren hurried into it. Hockaday and offside again. And that's worked very well this afternoon for Leeds. The offside tactic employed to good effect. Whitlow back for Mervyn Day and just a little game between the two fullbacks and the goalkeeper just for the moment. Leeds will be very happy indeed with a 2-0 half-time scoreline if that's the way it turns out to be. George Cott, Courtney just checking with his two linesmen. I make it that we've still got a few more seconds before the 45 are up. Peter Haddock for Gordon Strachan in bed. Good one-touch ball. Strachan. Haddock again looking for Strachan. Hockaday it was who cut it out from McLaren. Bowden. Challenge again from Baird. And the tackling back has been a feature this afternoon. Ian Baird and Bobby Davison. Both helping out the midfield when they needed to. And we're playing injury time at the end of the first half that's been very satisfactory. Thank you for Leeds United and Howard Wilkinson. And for the umpteenth time in the last ten minutes, Swindon are caught offside. McLaughlin it was this time. George Courtney checking the watch, and I think we will hear the half-time whistle. We do indeed. And Leeds deserve the applause they're getting. It's not been perfect, but it's been a lot better than they've got that vital second goal that they've been searching for. Gordon Strachan with the first goal from the penalty spot and he goes up at half time having put Leeds 2-0 in front and Swindon will have to do a great deal to change things in the second half. Leeds 2-0 at half time. the man who scored the two goals in the first half Gordon Strachan leads his men out for the 45 minutes that stand between them and their second victory at Ellen Road this season the first one came on August the 23rd 2-1 against Middlesbrough and a fairly scrambled and desperate affair that was the management team will no doubt have told them that if they're calm and sensible and keep doing the things they have done just tighten up a little bit at the back then the two points are theirs for the taking this afternoon George Courtney gets the second half underway the first touch from McLaughlin McLaren and Swindon starting rather scrappily with King being forced to turn the ball back for an early second half touch for Fraser Digby former Manchester United apprentice Fraser Digby the header was won by Haddock. This is Henry. 
looking for Davison and King was there to help out Calderwood and the change of tactics has not been many short throws from either goalkeeper this afternoon preferring mainly the long ball but Swindon possibly have decided a change of tactics is needed certainly a change of some kind is needed for them because Leeds good value for their 2-0 half-time lead very little at all seen from the West Country side apart from a, a brief five minute burst around the half hour this is Paul Bowden looking for Shearer and Blake did well he timed the challenge well he may not be as fast as some central defenders but he timed it well Jones beaten by Vinnie Jones his namesake Jones gets it back and what will the referee do about that? Haddock's leg was stuck out. Tommy Jones says, well, John Henry got a penalty for that in the first half. And a quiet word from McLaughlin just asking George Courtney whether that wasn't worth a penalty. And George Courtney says, no, thank you. I'm in charge. So just a little bit of drama in the second minute of the second half. and Bowden challenging for the header and Ian Baird's in the wars again took a little knock in the first half Ian Baird in the face but no treatment required Mike Whitlow with the throw easy for Hockaday Billy Jones for Davison Ian Baird challenges from Gittins sent from Hockaday Whitlow and space, good of it from Batty. Turned well, was given the space to do so. And Digby reacted quickly on the near post. Shearer hasn't won many this afternoon, certainly hasn't won, won many with Blake. Beat Haddock on that occasion. Couldn't control it. Whitlow's throw. Hockaday was there before Baird. This is Shearer. And Noel Blake with plenty of time. And Mervyn Day too electing to try one or two throws out in the second half. And King and Calderwood eventually sorting things out with help from McLaren. This is McLaren. Tom Jones. Challenge was just a little bit late from David Batty player who's had some trouble with his temperament but Howard Wilkinson's left him no doubt what the management think about that Mike Whitlow's throw Ian Bird, no challenge and not really to done a little better with that Hockaday's throw. Shearer beaten by Haddock that time. Hockaday's throw again. Shearer this time beating Haddock when it mattered. Blake asking a lot of Mervyn Day, asking too much of Mervyn Day. And the first corner of the half will go to Swindon Town. Everybody forward bar King for Swindon. Six in the box. This is Hockaday. Space on the far post. Well, Gittins had all the space and time he wanted. And one or two questions being asked in that Leeds United defence, and rightly so. Mal Sterling was doing most of the talking. I don't think Mervyn Day could have been too happy. Whitlow for the short goal kick. away. Blake missed the challenge. Shearer with Haddock and Haddock did well. 
matched him stride for stride and got the touch where it mattered and got it cleanly. Gordon Strachan can't control it. Hockaday's throw. Farron laid it back for him. Paddock taking no chances and rightly so. Mervyn Day going off in his travels again. Flip from Davison. Challenge in the back from Collingwood as he did so. Davison. And it's broken free and Simpson must score. And the challenge was fair, the referee says, or was it? No. It's given the free kick. Swindon is saying it was inside the area, which it most certainly wasn't. For my money, it wasn't even quite as far forward as George Courtney is reckoning. But it'll do them no good to argue. And Sterling may well find that his name is inscribed in the referee's notebook for that challenge. It is. There was a time, of course, when referees were instructed to send defenders off for what was deemed the professional foul, where a goal would otherwise have been conceded, which Swinney would argue on that occasion would certainly have happened, but a yellow card it is for Mel Sterland. Swindon are still asking whether the foul wasn't inside the penalty area. George Courtney says it wasn't. And I say, for my money, it was even a little further back than that, but George Courtney's money is the money that counts. Five in the Leeds wall. Everybody back for Leeds. Good effort from McLaren. Simpson. Shearer with a flick header. Away by Vinnie Jones. King! <laughs> Had it comfortably covered Mervyn Day. Davison. Higher than Calderwood, but King was there. And again, the misunderstanding between Blake and Sterling very nearly letting Shearer and Simpson through. Sterling brings it away for Billy Jones. Henry on that far touchline. George Courtney gives John Henry a free kick, which Strachan will take. Billy Jones wants it square. It's David Batty, in fact, on that far side. Benny Jones, worth a try, not his best effort. Cockaday it is, he's come short, Strack and policing. Almost ten minutes gone in the second half. Leads two, Swindon nil. Noel Blake. Jones beaten by McLaren. And the referee says Jones was doing the leaning. Jones doesn't agree. Swindon get on with it. Tommy Jones finding Fitzroy Simpson on the far side. The back heel for us from King. Cut out by Leeds and here's Batty. Only Baird ahead of him. Strachan on this side. Billy Jones with Henry on that touchline. Strachan making the run. Davison heading for the penalty spot, so is Baird. Henry beaten by King on the linesman. Gives Leeds the free kick. Foul by King on John Henry. Well, it's certainly been an entertaining start, the second half. Could have had a goal at either end. Maybe we'll see one now as Strachan asks for Simpson to go back the full ten yards. And it was from Sterling.
It is a quite glorious afternoon. First day of autumn. David Batty wins the header. Forward by Tommy Jones. And Noel Blake is there before Shearer can step in. One by Calderwood. And as far as Batty. Challenge from Tommy Jones. Hendry. Batty again. Nicely played. Asking for a handball against Calderwood. George Cook has hit in his chest. McLaren. And Digby. Whitlow misjudging the header. Pocketo's throw from McLaren. Challenge is a little, little too fierce from Billy Jones. Well, as gorgeous as it was. Pocketay down as though prolaxed. And Billy Jones, his name, will join that of Mel Sterling on. George Courtney's notebook. Checking that Hockaday is still alive, he most certainly is. Well, some of the Ellen Road faithful appreciated Eddie Jones's efforts. I don't think Howard Wilkinson will have done. More disciplinary points. The last thing that leads one with the injuries that they have to contend with. Hockaday is restored to the action. McLaren's free kick for McLaughlin. Challenge from Bowden. Davison and Batty sweeping up for leads. And Hockaday rejoins the fray in earnest with the throw in. Clarence chip forward, way by Batty. Chance from McLaughlin, good efforts! And Mervyn Day, belying his 34 years once again. Scored four goals this season, Alan McLaughlin. Only got seven before this season, and he suddenly hit a golden streak. And that was a shot of a man with some confidence. Away by Sterling and by Whitlow. Throws be slightly getting in each other's way. And the offside flag is against Tommy Jones. And Leeds, despite their two-goal lead, not exactly breathing easily at this moment. Haddock's free kick. Baird can barely keep it in play. Paddock too high from McLaughlin. Leeds get the throw. Billy Jones. Ian Baird going up with Gittins. Runs for Davison. Challenge from Calderwood. The referee looks to the linesman. And gives the corner. What's the linesman's decision there? Gordon Strachan. Oh, should have been easy for Digby, it wasn't his Sterling. Digby again, still Sterling, no support for him. Blake's further back to the touchline, Sterling did well. Here's Baird, good effort, good save by Digby. And the challenge again from Baird. But he got up well, he found the space. And Digby was down well because he was down at the foot of his post. McLaren for King. Henry got the challenge in. And Digby will try again. An hour gone. Leeds lead by two goals to nil. It's a long kick from Mervyn Day. From uh, Fraser Digby. It's Mervyn Day, in fact. Who 
takes it. Offside flag was raised in any case. No back just checking where it was. Touch from Strachan for Bird. Bird did well. Three men around him, and a free kick was about all he was going to get from that. Take quickly for Strachan. And they're catching Swindon like that. No power from Strachan. McLaughlin. Gittins. They have lost it to Henry. And they both felt that. And. This looks serious. The referee immediately called for both trainers. Tommy Jones is still discussing with George Courtney the merits of John Henry's challenge. On John Gittins. And George Gordon will wait calmly until the attention has been given. And they're calling, I think, for a stretcher for John Hendry. Certainly Carl Shutt will warm up. I think they want a stretcher. And the bench haven't realised. The crowd have. The stretcher is being brought onto the field. It's always a sad sight. It was certainly a full-blooded challenge. 50-50 ball, I think. Well, there's only one John Henry is the card message, and certainly if John Henry were to be sidelined for any length of time. That would upset the balance of the Leeds attack considerably. Howard Wilkinson is out on the field. And the red card is shown by the referee. John Gittins begins the lonely walk, the loneliest walk in football. No doubt what the crowd think about it. And John Gittins returns to the dressing room, Howard Wilkinson. back down the touchline and John Hendry sad sight indeed well how about that I've never seen that before acknowledging the cheers of the crowd Certainly he's saying, I'm going to be all right. Well, what a way to go. In the meantime, the lead substitution has been made. Carl Shutt just beyond the referee on that far touchline. Take a free kick with Mel Sterling. Wicklow for Peter Haddock. So again, Strachan making the run for him. Hockaday challenging. Good little cross! And he didn't get the touch. 
Uh, Davis and Arthur didn't get the touch and Digby was there on the far post. Sterling didn't, didn't think play was continuing, in fact it was right. But Swindon hadn't heard the referee's whistle. Sandy Williams in fact has come on as substitute for John Hendry, number 14. Davison, got support from Baird if he wants it, still Davison, good efforts, and a fine goal from Bobby Davison. 3-0 leads, and if you doubted whether Bobby Davison was fit, there's the answer. The marking was slack in the Shrewsbury defence. Gordon Strachan it was, he made the chance, he read the game well as he's done for so many years. And it's Leeds United 3, Swindon 0. Phil King, Paul Bowden, away by Blake taking no chances. Swindon now have their substitute on, Tony Galvin, the experienced former international winger changed the tactics this half and is looking at every opportunity to play the short ball out of defence. First half, they're looking for the long ball. Davison in the challenge, comes for Vinnie Jones. Looking for Davison again, Jones challenges again. With McLaughlin, away by Hockaday. That was a first touch for Tony Galvin, not an effective one, and Strachan's offside. McLaren, Jones, and a challenge with Jones, that's Tommy and Vinny, and a better for Tommy of Swindon, Phil King for McLaughlin, good stern challenge by Haddock, Whitlow for Strachan, makes the return when Strachan wants him, still available on that left touch line, Baird making the run to the centre, and the flag's up. Once again, no question at all that Gordon Strachan has been the inspiration for Leeds United. He hasn't just scored two goals, he's made the third and certainly most of the good things have revolved around him for Leeds United this afternoon as we move into the last 20 minutes of the game. Well won by Haddock. Vinnie Jones, nobody there. McLaren has dropped back into the back four after the sending off of John Gittins. Began his career there with Joe's Town, Ross McLaren, so he's no stranger to that position. Hockey day for Tony Galvin. Fitzroy Simpson is the man who's gone off to be replaced by Galvin for Swindon. 
Jones for Philkin. Tommy Jones again. Wants something to make a run for him. Bowden does so. Useful cross. Shearer was there looking for the header. Bowden again. It's two against two here for the long kick. Three against three as Vinnie Jones joins the fray. Davison still sniffing around. And eventually it's Hockaday who gets it back to Fraser Digby. And they've worked hard, the lead strikers, this afternoon at keeping Swindon Penn back in their own area. And Strachan causing the hurried ball out. Shearer sorts things out a little bit for Swindon. And there's Noel Blake. Wicklow. Hoping that Baird or Strachan might have made the run forward. So Swindon back for a pushed up. McLaren. And Haddock. Just for a moment, the game is for Leeds, and Day taking no chances. Bit hoppy there with the throw. Galvin, fresh pair of legs. Hockey Day is the offside, he is. Short that, and Shearer was almost let in by Mervyn Day, and Andy Williams had to be pretty sharp about that. There he is again, 170,000 buy from Rotherham, and Wilkinson's first major signing nearly a year ago now. He made a lot of ground, Andy Williams there, didn't quite make contact. Bowden for Swindon, finding only Sterling of Leeds and Blake. Had it. And Billy Jones on the one run forward, McLaren was there. Reads the game very well, Ross McLaren. Almost wonder whether Swindon wouldn't have been better with him in the back four from the start. Strap and neatly done. Jones. Was a professional enemy, the crowd didn't like it. The crowd certainly will hope that Leeds playing against ten men might give them some more goals for their money. Sterling. Tony Galvin. Calderwood for Bowden. Jones trying to challenge well. Offside against Sterling. Just over a quarter of an hour left. Nice touch from Shearer. made the run there because that was just half an opportunity for Swindon but really Swindon haven't created very much at all on the afternoon and their leads have been far from perfect they've been probably worth their three goals Baird and George Courtney not for the first time this afternoon allowing play to go quite correctly nice little ball for Batty still Batty the cross cut out by Calderwood. <laughs> Corner then from Strachan. Away by King. Not very far. Further away by Bowden. And as far as Batty. Strachan is offside. George Courtney says, OK, let's get on with it. Calderwood.
offside against Shearer. Blake for Haddock. And Whitlow caught back on his heels. Haddock thought he was making the run. Nice turn by McLaughlin. Fine ball for Bowden. Day is there. He's shown some nice touches out of McLaughlin this afternoon. This is Sterling. Williams with Strachan. Cut out by King. Williams is crossed too far for Bowden to far post. Still in play. Woodlow in support. Tom Jones, King, Bowden, and it's falling apart a bit for Swindon now. Sterling, no real width for Leeds. Vinnie Jones trying to create some of the far post out of your shot. This is Williams. Trying to get the better of Jones and almost does so, but Jones recovers well. Still Williams challenging. It's won it, Strachan. Challenge from Bird and the shots from Vinnie Jones. Off balance, Vinnie Jones. They've been lurking there at the far post, looking for something like that. Blake. Melster. Williams has been quite well involved since he came on for John Henry. Below us shouts from the Leeds bench urging their team on, urging no letter. 12 minutes left, Leeds lead by three goals to nil. Jones looking for Hockaday, it's too far for him. Strachan for Baird. Billy Jones left it for him, that's Galvin. McLaughlin trying to turn Batty, Strachan nipped in. And it'll go all the way back, I think, from Haddock. Crowd just getting a little bit impatient with Leeds. Back by Shearer for Bowden. Jones, Calderwood. McLaughlin, Bowden, Galvin with pace. Only half away for the Leeds, but Strachan is there, is able to clear up with Jones, finds Batty. Andy Williams. Good overlap by Sterling if Williams wants him. This is Sterling, challenges from Calderwood, and the header away was by McLaren. It's a throw to Leeds. Hoping for the 1 2 from Williams, got it eventually. It's hit the chest of Calderwood. The crowd would like a penalty. And with wild optimism. Still in Sove looking for Vinnie Jones, cut out by Calderwood. Further away by Bowden. Shearer couldn't keep it in. Wicklow's on the left touch line. There he is. Support inside from Batter. Read the challenge well. Showing him with each game he plays, David Batter. This is Blake. 
Douglas with the header. Baird's in there challenging as well. Away by McLaren. Batty for Whitlow. A try one to Beerfus. Didn't miss by more than a yard or so, Mike Whitlow. Manu came from Whitman Albion, of course. Less than a year ago. And we're inside the last ten minutes. Leeds for the first time this season. I'm looking at a score sheet which shows three goals to their name. And Vinnie Jones sends Andy Williams off in search of a fourth, maybe. Sterling's made the overlap. Williams looking for Davis and Baird, it is, at the far post. And the chance comes in! And it's gone in! But the referee has noticed an infringement. And it won't count, but it's a good move. And I quite appreciate that. Bourne, Phil King. Laid off by Galvin. Jones couldn't quite control it. Transfer back to Gray. Only Baird ahead of him. And Williams to his right. This is Williams. It's almost the first time since the opening ten minutes that Noel Blacks controls that him down. Phil King. Blake stretched out on those long legs. Hockaday for Swindy. Inside the last seven minutes. Whitlow looking for the safe option, didn't in fact find touch. Here's Galvin. Only three men up, and nobody there to challenge Mervyn Day. Two up for Leeds. And the steam has just gone out of this a bit.
Well, if you're being hypercritical, you'd say that Swindon were there for the taking and these have failed to improve the goal difference by the amount they might have done, but that would be carping. 3-0. It's a fine victory against the team who finished sixth in Division 2 last season. Gordon Strachan looking for number four. Worth a try. Looking for his hat-trick. Not far wide. This afternoon's attendance, 21,694, and they've certainly enjoyed what they've seen. It's actually the smallest of the four league attendances at Ellen Road this season. But they have seen Leeds score three goals without reply, and we're inside the final four minutes. Pocketay's throw. Davison will challenge Calderwood. Bowden was challenged by Sterland. Williams is challenging King. And the challenges pay off for Leeds. Williams. Played with some confidence, Sandy Williams, as he came on. Had it, Batty. And look again, Strachan. He's lost his balance for a moment, recovered quickly though. Finney Jones and Haddock again. Batty again. And back on the think to Norman Day. Shepherding out by Duncan Shearer. Jones beaten by his namesake, not for the first time in the afternoon. And Finney Jones finds Baird, he was trying to lead off to Strachan. Tommy Jones was there, it's a poor ball though. Chances here for Leeds with Williams, Sterling on the overlap. He's increasingly enjoying that space on the right flank, worth a try. Well, Baird was disappointed. It was worth a try from there. And Fraser Digby has had plenty of work this afternoon. Header away was by McLaren, Sterland, Williams, Sterland is square of him, looking for Davison. Inside the last two minutes, McLaughlin trying to find Shearer, certainly space for him, three men up supporting, only Bowden in the penalty area, joined now by McLaughlin. This is Jones, challenged by Batty, and the referee says unfairly. Quickly, quickly taken. King, off Finney Jones. And the corner is removed towards the last minute of the game. Tommy Jones on that far side. McLaughlin's come short for him. Calderwood in there challenging, away by Davis. Parker Day. McLaren looking for Shearer. Parker Day. He's the one to keep this tight, they won't want to concede a goal now. The lineman is flagging. And the referee eventually will give Leeds the free kick. We're in the last minute, but of course there will be some injury time for that very unfortunate stoppage which resulted in John Hendry being stretched off the field. And indeed resulted in John Gittings walking off having been given the red card. Here's Vinnie Jones. Three men up for Leeds. Vinnie Jones rather allowed himself to run into a blind alley. Tries to blame the referee but he was really only able to blame himself on that occasion. McLaren. Haddock might have been holding down McLaughlin. The referee said no. Offside against Shearer. He's really found no joy at all this afternoon, Duncan Shearer. Well marshalled by these two men, Noel Blake and Peter Haddock.
almost a minute of injury time played. Davison, Strachan, can he keep it in? No. This game is worn on, Mel Sedan. That's a good ball looking for Strachan and his hat trick. And it's there. And in injury time, Gordon Strachan gets the reward for being without question the outstanding lead player, not just in this match, but in recent weeks as well. And Leeds get the goal that their fans had certainly been wanting to round off that afternoon, the 21,000 who come to Ellen Road. And it's Leeds United 4. Swindon nil, a hat trick for Gordon Strachan. And I think that barely be time for Swindon to kick off. In fact, Duncan Shearer does so from McLaughlin. Hockey day. But it's been a thoroughly successful afternoon for Leeds, and Howard Wilkinson knows that his side are capable of. Yet better things, it's not been perfect this afternoon and a more composed attacking force than Swindon might have made Leeds play for moments of laxity at the back. But if you can say that and still report that the team have won by four goals to nil, that can only be an encouraging sign. Peter Haddock, whose confidence also, like this man's Mel Sirlins, has increased as the game has worn on. And Williams has done well in involved to a great extent since he came on as substitute and it's all academic for Swindon now Bowden Shearer has run his offside position it's cleared anyway by Haddock McLaren pumps it forward Blake and Shearer Shearer for once winning out away by Blake not sure that he quite made the first bit of control but it worked and here's Batty Strachan's in front of him, Strachan would like a fourth, and why not? That was maybe overconfidence, but he'll have a free kick. And you wouldn't bet, would you, against Gordon Strachan, just trying a little photo from here himself. And says he'd ever scored four goals in a game. Deep into injury time, and George Courtney still allowing leads try again, here's Sterling with space, well blocked by McLaughlin, might just bounce for Shearer, couldn't keep it in, Lionsman's flagging, Vinnie Jones, there's some nice touches from Vinnie Jones this afternoon, it is in fact the final touch of the afternoon, and Leeds United We'll look to this man, Gordon Strachan, and say thank you very much for steering us through the difficult waters of the last few weeks and into brighter times this afternoon. Leeds have beaten Swindon Town by four clear goals. They've been much of the better side throughout. There is still room for improvement, no question, but the 21,694 who came this afternoon we've seen two first half goals from Strack and established the lead superiority. Davison got a third before John Gittins was sent off and John Henry stepped it off for Leeds. And the icing on the cake, Strachan's third goal for the hat-trick in injury time. And Leeds walk off, deserving every bit of this round of applause. The last man off the field will be Vinnie Jones walking off with the officials. He too has played his part. It's Leeds for Swindon Mill. Congratulations, when did that score happen? Yeah, it seems to have been many moons ago.
Enjoy it? I enjoyed it, it was a good day. It was not a perfect day, I think you'd agree, but if you can win Cornwall not playing absolutely everywhere, it's a good one. It's a good one, but we deserved it. We were over the start of the season, we deserved that result today. We played a lot of games, we played better, we played really well, not that we got to deserve it today. We did enough with that. We've got a little bit of a soft point going along for the second half. To be honest, I couldn't see a lot of people in the box. I've seen John Tuck, I've seen my favourite on the other side, so I just took the penalty. And it was a bit worrying for me because the young boy who was in goals was at Manchester United. He used to practice the penalties against him. I've been to five years ago, yeah. Just got a hand to it, didn't he? He got a hand to it, yeah. Do you like any hand to it? I like taking the six finished. Now, your second goal is one that you probably enjoy it with. At the time when Swinney had a little bit of a factor when you come back and you finish up the game. Yeah, but I like it. I like it. I was ahead of the back. I've seen it. I picked a spot. I knew when I picked a spot right ahead. I got no one near it. I could get it right exactly where I want to. And good to see John Hindley play. I think he looked terrific. Yeah, John Hindley. Yeah, we played on the first half. And the pots have got landed in the first half. Now what happened with the injury? Because it, it looked from a long way away like it was a good goal, but it was the most close to Sorry, whatever. I think the, uh, the centre half was in the goal, was trying to play the ball, but he was getting pressure out of the Ian Baird. He was getting a bit angry with himself, but didn't get the ball away, and I think he was a bit rash and challenging as well. And how was John Lee? John Lee was uh, hopping about, but he was smelling his face, because we didn't pull nothing, he was very happy. He was giving a cheery way when he came off on the stretch, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he was enjoying the game today, and he put him back so he could get along that way. Now, people were saying that Bobby Davidson might not be fit for the start of the game. I think he proved it with the third goal, he was still all right. Well, Bobby was definitely fit. I've never that. He took a, a fair smack in the head on uh, Tuesday night. But he's a fit person, and he'll be back. He, he can take a couple of days off of training, and it won't affect him. Now, did you know you already been through the time you were in the third goal? Yeah, I knew it was getting a bit that time, so I started to wander a bit. I knew the game was won. I decided to start wandering a bit, and uh, Andy Williams came on and played a fantastic goal through. Um, all I had to do was stick a foot out there. Andy Williams did well because he, he got involved well, so it's not easy coming in. Andy Williams did well, and uh, quickly believed in himself a bit of problem. And that might have been some critical because yeah. he was there on a successful yeah. occasion. And there's a free kick after you scored your third goal, you might have almost thought about a fourth, didn't you? I was thinking about it, but uh, Mel Sterling weighs about six stone heavier than me, so I decided to let him have a go at it. Now, what's the manager said afterwards? He must be fairly good, although he's a hard man to play, but 4 0 is 4 0. He's a hard man to please, but if you, if you give 100%, that'll do him really. You can't ask for any more than that. And the boys gave 100% today. The, the football wasn't the classic king, but the, the crowd got four goals and 100% effort. Are you going to say welcome to him? Could be.